probably around 8 o'clock in the morning and even as you can see guys just from overnight how much the water has receded it's going to be another hot day today so all this water will definitely disappear today even though, even though I'm going to make it disappear right now so what I've got here guys is my other GoPro I'm going to set this up on a time lapse today so we're going to get this time lapse of the actual water eroding or evaporating so it should be pretty interesting and also what we're going to try and do guys is dig a little trench over that way and we're going to try and drain this water out and the trench is going to go into a bucket or a big bucket hopefully fill up with water and we'll um, leave the bucket there for when this happens again and we're also going to set up some of those ties I've got in the back of my truck to make nests or birds and that's about it at the moment guys so I forgot my bloody rubber boots today so I'm going to get my good RM Williams boots guys so we'll set up my camera here and we'll start digging this trench if it gets too muddy I'll just go back and get my rubber boots guys now for the good one empty these olive oil containers it's not exactly what I had planned guys I wanted to try and drive the truck over here and do it like going in this way so over here I could have but I don't want to take the rest of the cell out now but anyway yeah do it in here make a trench going in there but anyway guys just here this is just chock block full of tadpoles now, so that's awesome. And there's heaps of dead ones over there. But anyway, that's life, guys. We'll let Mother Nature take its course in that, and we'll do this olive oil one now. Hopefully, it'll work out. Like I say, it wasn't exactly my plan, and we'll come back in the next couple of days. We'll get a heap of tadpoles for the ponds, and we'll bury some of these. Um, probably the steel containers in the source so they're below level so when it rains they'll stay full of water all right we'll undo these guys all right here guys I'm 
when it dries out anyway guys, when it's totally dry and not as muddy, we'll come back and we'll dig a proper trench when it's easier and not so muddy. You know what we'll do this one? Alright guys, stay tuned and we'll come back in the next couple of days and finish that off. Alright guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode on saving these tadpoles lives. It's really good because all that water's run over there now. Where all those tadpoles were, so we'll try and scoop up a oh no. Oh that's going really well. Look here. Shit what is here guys. saved a lot of them. I didn't expect the water to come all the way this far. So I might even actually come back tomorrow and do the same. We'll try and save some more but then again a lot of this water will probably evaporate overnight. G'day guys, well what I'm going to do now is dig some holes. I'm going to bury these buckets in, the, in, the, in this little creek area here. So next time when it um, dries out from the evaporation in a hot summer weather there will still be um, tadpoles and so forth to survive. So so I can come down here and pick them up from my ponds and give them away to people that are gardeners. So I'll dig a hole now here fellas and then later on in the day we're going to come back and get the rest of those tadpoles from that big bucket in there because the water's evaporating really quickly from it. Here guys it's um, obviously good for nature but unfortunately the cunning people do this too. This is how the reptile um, smugglers, what they do, they'll dig a big hole in the ground like this and I'll put a bucket inside and animals come walking along and they crawl in there like bobtail lizards, snakes, rodents, marsupials and all types of different creepy crawlies. Actually guys, not too long ago I stumbled across one. So I'll show you. If you go there soon, I'll show you this smuggler's spot what I found them. Alright, see so here's the first one fellas. So it's below the surface of this little floodplain here. So when it rains, all the water's going to come running inside here from here. So we'll just put this mud back in. The sand's alright. And also what I'll do is I'll put some sticks or um, some roots or rocks in here so the rocks are sticking out of the water. And that way if anything does fall in like a reptile or um, a frog or whatever can climb back out easily. So we can do this. And also obviously, so we get the reptile smugglers, kids can do this, you know, with the board on holidays. So just make sure that you treat the environment with a bit of respect and return the animals back to their native home. So unfortunately too much wildlife smuggling and stealing goes on. See fellas, this is the end results of Mother Nature when the water dries out. Did you see all these tadpoles? Did you see all these tadpoles guys? Rock hard. So frogs and all that are going to sorry the ants are already eating them. There's quite a few in the little deep hollows when the water's dried out. But anyway we managed to save thousands guys. Show you. So the water's dried out quite a bit, but yeah, we'll come back here later with my net and we'll get some of these apples. So that's awesome. There's heaps in there, guys. Just put my hand in there and just steal them from the wall.
illegally dumped tyres, which is not a good thing. I'll just pick those up for my third nest, nesting process. And right here, fellas, this is a town's water supply catchment area where the water runs into the water dam from the runoff up there. Come on, here. Come on. In there, Benjoy. Come on. Up there. Come on. Benjoy. Come here. Good girl. Come on up there. Good girl. Here. Here. Come here. Good girl. Up there. Good girl. Come up! Come up! In the car! Come on! Sophie! Come on! Here! Good girl! Come on! Here! Up there! G'day guys! Well... Heading over to the tadpoles, guys. We're going to scoop up a heap of tadpoles and bury a couple more buckets. And the tadpoles are well in relocated in my backyard, so we'll see you there. Now you got to stay here this time, Sophie. I'm going to chain you up, otherwise, you'll run off again. Look out. Where's the net? Here it is. Look out. 
Alright guys, we'll go and scoop up a heap of tadpoles. Guys, what is all these tadpoles here guys? I'm going to fill up the bucket with water first, guys. Just to put a bit of water in. Some of these tip holes are dead. The reason they're dead is for the lack of oxygen and also the hot weather. Now the next day fellas and I've got the um, ponds all ready just got to um, cover the surrounding sides with nice melee roots and relics and all that stuff so you can just see I've got some tadpoles in this one guys this is the one that was really stinky yesterday I cleaned it all out the reason it was stinky is because I had some um, old pine uh, piece of wood in there and it went rotten but anyway what I've got here fellas is a couple of yabbies so we're gonna put these in here We'll put those here like that and they'll go in there we'll have a couple of pet yabbies i've got another couple here guys we'll put in this one here so this one here is full of tadpoles too frogs so we'll put that in there and they'll go in the water natural instinct and we'll come out here at night time too in the near future guys and i'll show you with those yabbies they'll be probably sitting up in the rocks and stuff but anyway you can just see here it's a red back, dead red back, guys. But what I've got here, you can just see how it's all buckled here. So eventually we'll let this water dry out and evaporate, and then we'll get a nice big heavy um, melee roots and rocks, and we'll push this forward so it's all nice and straight. So I'm going to have some nice, I think, guys, western toadlet uh, frogs coming up probably in the next, very shortly. So there's already some frogs in there, guys, so they'll just hop out of these rocks by themselves so I reckon I've probably got two or three thousand tadpoles in here so that was awesome to say then guys I really appreciate you watching so don't forget follow my tips on tadpoling and all that kind of stuff I love it guys there's a few dead ones here or dying possibly but anyway the tadpoles will eat those so I reckon probably around I believe it not only around Probably 10 to 20% of these tadpoles will actually turn into frogs. All the other ones will be taken by predators. Um, they'll die, get eaten by the other frogs and tadpoles. Alright guys, can't wait to hear these beautiful western toadlets turning into frogs and croaking. They'll go in there. And they'll get in there eventually guys. Alright guys, it's now a few days later since we last grabbed the first row of tadpoles, so we're going to head back and get the rest, and we've got a fair bit of rain coming tonight they reckon, so this tadpole creek will probably fill up again hopefully, so anyway, we'll see you over there guys, we're just going to get the rest of these tadpoles out of the bucket, buried in the ground, and go and um, put them in my ponds in my backyard. As 
soon as we've got these tadpoles, guys, we're going to go back and get some nice native water grass so I can put some oxygen in these new ponds I've made. But like I say, guys, the ponds, what I've made in my little walkway, they're not completed yet. I've got to surround, surround them and cover them up, camouflage them up with nice smelly roots and rocks and all that kind of stuff so the white plastic is hidden. Just digging a hole guys so I can put this bucket in so when it dries out this will stay full of water I can just come down pull it out and empty the tadpoles into one of my ponds or re relocate them somewhere else all right that should be deep enough this also the eyes this beautiful clay here don't know if it'd be good for uh, making sculptures and stuff but it's beautiful nice sticky clay really nice and moist so we'll put this in here and make sure it's just below the surface so the water can flow in easy all right I think that should be right guys and now we'll just cover it all back up Hopefully the water will flow in when it rains. And that's it fellas. It's all done now. We've got another couple over there to do. And here's the other one. I think it's a frog. Oh, frogs are falling in there guys. Dead little western toadlets. Oh well, it'll fill up tonight. And another one down there with more frogs in there. And right here guys is a little western toadlet. A little western toadlet frog. These are beautiful frogs. Beautiful sound they make. Let's see. And those frogs guys in the bottom that were dead, I've just filled up all the bucks of grass so if any frogs and any other reef properties can easily climb out now. So anyway guys, hopefully we'll get some good rain tonight. And there was no tadpoles left in those buckets guys, I think um, Thornbill herons and spoonbills and so forth, ducks, uh, come and um, collect them all for dinner, so which is good. And just over there fellas another dam, we'll go and get some nice native grass for these ponds.
actually do. Pretty small guys, might get a feed, might get a bit of a feed. Right, grab a few guys, they're not that small, but that size sort of, um, usually a lot bigger than this. Grab some decent sized ones for a bit of a feed. No. Fellas, we'll set that up in there for Barry. We'll try and grab some more for Barry and we'll come back tomorrow morning and pick it up. Guys, we've got to show you we're putting the yabbies in, but anyway, they're cooked now. So, a beautiful feed for the night. I'll chuck this in that sink. That's a nice yabby for dinner. Beautiful. There, yeah, guys. So, it's a nice yabby for myself for dinner and the dogs. And have the uh, claws and so forth. Yum. 